take a look at these two triangles. Suppose I told you that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, and I asked you to find the perimeter of triangle PQR. We know one side of triangle PQR, PR is 8, but we need to find the other two sides. So what do we know? We know that the sides of ABC are proportional to the sides of PQR. That means that AB over PQ is equal to BC over QR, and that's equal to CA over RP. Notice that I matched up all of these three pairs of sides in the same order that I gave you over here when I said the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So the first side would be AB, and that matches up with PQ. BC matches up with QR, and CA matches up with RP. So now we can plug some numbers in to these proportions. Just make a little more room here. And AB is 12. PQ, I don't know what it is, so let me leave that as a PQ. BC is 12, but I also don't know QR, so let me skip the middle one and let me just use these two ratios. So 12 over PQ is equal to 6 over 8. 12 over PQ is equal to 6 over 8. In order to solve this proportion, you could go straight to cross multiplying, or in order to keep the numbers small, make all the calculations easier, I would first reduce this 6 over 8 to 3 over 4. And now cross multiply. So let me go on to a clean page. I have 12 over PQ is equal to over 4. 12 over PQ is equal to 3 over 4, and I want to cross multiply. So 12 times 4 is equal to 3 times PQ. 48 is equal to 3 times PQ. Divide both sides by 3. 48 over 3 is equal to PQ, and 48 over 3 is, that's right, 16. So PQ is equal to 16. And now, let's remember what that triangle looked like, PQR. We knew that this side down here was 8. We just figured out that this leg, or this side PQ, is 16. And if you remember the original triangle ABC, let's go back and look at that for a second. The original triangle ABC had two sides equal to 12, and this side was equal to 6. So the original triangle ABC was an isosceles triangle, and if PQR is similar, then it's also an isosceles triangle, and side QR will also come out to be 16. And so the perimeter is equal to 16 plus 16 plus 8, which is equal to 16 plus 16, 32 plus 8 is equal to 40. And that's the answer. I want to show you a different way to do this, though. This way, this method is perfectly fine, but let me show you a second way to do the same problem. So here's my original triangle, my 12, 12, 6 triangle, and here's my other triangle, 
and I know that this side is 8. If you know that two triangles are similar, not only do you know that the sides are proportional, meaning that the ratio of the corresponding sides is all equal, are all equal to each other, but the ratio of the perimeters is also equal. So 6 is to 8 as the perimeter of ABC, triangle ABC, is to the perimeter of triangle PQR. So 6 over 8 is equal to the perimeter of the first triangle. It's 12 and 12 is 24, plus 6 is 30. Over the perimeter, let's just call it P for perimeter of the second triangle. And now I just have to cross multiply once to figure out what the perimeter of the second triangle is. I have, once again, I can reduce this to 3 over 4 and now cross multiply. 3P is equal to 30 times 4. 3P is equal to 120. P is equal to 40. So I can figure out the perimeter of a similar triangle that way as well. In both cases, I got that the answer was 40.